Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. My name is Shada and on this channel I do art videos. So if you are a creative soul, don't forget to subscribe. And today we are going to paint a donut. Uh, it's a little out of my wheelhouse, but I'm excited to try something different and share it with you. So let's get started. We'll begin our painting with a drawing, uh, just a sketch. I'm going to do a circle and I go around and around kind of to get the shape right. Then we'll drop down and add the bottom part of that donut and the donut hole. This is just a guide. If you draw the guide first and get the shape right, then you can start adding in details like the glaze on the top of the donut. Um, so once we've done it in pencil, then we'll go over it in pen and this allows you to refine your drawing even further. So like I said, even though it's a simple enough subject, we still wanna take the time to get things right in the beginning and that's going to help our painting as we move along. We might put highlights on the donut, we might put sprinkles. Those are all things you can practice here um, and then you can incorporate them into your painting. I can't write today, that yummy looks terrible. <laughs> I'm going to trace the donut that I've drawn. Again, this gives me another chance to refine the drawing, to change what I don't like about it to keep what I do like about it. Um, my perspective on the donut is a little wonky today and I kind of like that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is grab some watercolor paper, put my trace on there, place it, tape it, and then use graphite transfer paper to transfer the image. We'll place that paper dark side down. Then I'm using a nice sharp pencil. I like a mechanical pencil and I'll go over the entire drawing. I kind of realized that hole was in a weird spot. I had to move it up a little bit. So you have lots of chances to refine, as I've said. Um, and there we've got a nice light transfer now. And then I'm going to begin mixing up my paints. I'm using some tube watercolors today and uh, I'm using some various shades of brown, yellow ochre and a raw umber and uh, then a couple pinks. And then I always add a little bit of gray as well in case I want to darken something. Uh, I'm starting by mixing the raw umber and the yellow ochre, okra, ochre, uh, to get a nice sort of donutty color, frankly. It's sort of this warm brown, almost yellow. And I'm just beginning with a really light brown here and I'm going along and just basically coloring in my drawing. That's another benefit of starting with the guide or transferring your, your image. And what I like to do is right along the icing line, I'll do a darker brown and then I'll just come in with some water on my brush and bleed that brown out towards the edge of the donut or the bottom of the donut. So dark brown along the glaze line, put a little extra in there. And then I come with a wet brush and just bleed the color out. So that way I get a little shadow along the line where the glaze would be. Not too much of a shadow, but just a little bit. And you can darken the donut along the bottom edge as well. Uh, adding that little bit of extra dark brown can also help with this. And uh, this would be what we call wet into wet watercolors when you're allowing the wet paint to do its thing and to blend your colors that way. And if you ever want to add a bit of a highlight, you can always use a dry brush and absorb some of that paint, leaving a little bit of a lighter area. I'll finish up with my brown here by just uh, adding a bit more color to that donut hole. And then we're going to mix up our pinks. I have a rose and one that is more of a violety pink and I'm mixing them together with lots of water. And uh, then I am just going along here and coloring in my drawing, adding lots of this light pink to the top area of the donut that's glazed. I'm using a very, very light pink. I can always build up color as I work. So don't start dark if you can help it. And I'm also thinking about leaving highlights. So yes, you can use a dry brush to absorb paint, but it's nice to leave some negative space so that you get these really bright white highlights on the donut because that glaze is like glass. It'll catch the light. Um, and so you wanna have these blown out areas where there is nothing but white, nothing but the page showing through. So I'm not worrying about it too much. I'm putting highlights wherever I want. S say this is sitting in a donut shop. It's being lit by windows, by a ceiling light. So 
there could be light hitting it from all angles so I just left a bunch of white areas. And then you can see near the donut hole I'm using my wet into wet technique and a slightly darker pink to add more shading to add a little bit of darker color there. And then I'm going to leave this alone and let it dry. And now it is dry. It took about 20 minutes for it to dry. Um, and you can see I got some bleeding where the pink and the brown meet. And I've tried hard not to let them touch. If you don't let the paints touch, of course, they won't bleed into one another. Or I thought the brown was more dry than it was. Um, but you can always fix that with a wet on dry technique. So you're just going back in with your dry paint. I mean, with your wet paint on the dry image. And that's what I'm doing with the pink as well. I'm putting wet paint on top of dry paint and because it doesn't bleed, it get, I have tons of control. So I can add now some really dark low lights to this donut. I've got my highlights, I've got my light pink glaze. Well, now I go in with my darker pink and I add those low lights so that the icing, the glaze has lots of contrast and it really pops and it looks like this yummy glazed donut. And at this point in the painting, you can also do that with the brown area, add a few low lights, add a bit of a darker brown if you feel it's needed anywhere. You may not need to do this, but you can definitely add those low lights and um, give that donut that contrast. And if you have any harsh lines, I added a little too much paint, you know, I'm still learning to. You can always use a wet, clean brush to bleed out those harsh lines. Uh, you can see I've got a harsh line along the bottom, that looks good, but on the sides, not so good. And then I'm all done. That's all I'm going to do today. A simple donut painting. I got out of my comfort zone and tried something new and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.